Hello, I'm reviewing this Jacquard meat tenderizer. This particular model has 45 stainless steel blades. They tenderize and uh, help marinate the meat. This model has a removable cartridge. It comes out the top, simply pull it out, stick it in your dishwasher, snaps right back in place. Spring loaded, all you do is push it up and down on your meat. I'm going to show you how it works in just a moment. Okay, we're going to test this out. I've got this pork sirloin roast here. We're going to tenderize it. Uh, these stainless steel knives make it very easy to... We're going to be preparing these pork sirloins today, and I'm going to be making them teriyaki style, marinated, uh, with a dry rub also. So the marinade penetrates better. I've got this jacquard. It's got these stainless steel blades. You just give it a punch like this, and it's penetrating the meat, both sides, and trust me, that marinade will go much deeper into the meat. I'll be back. Okay, the Jacquard uh, stainless steel blades tenderize the meat, and they make it easier to chew. Also, the marinade is going to penetrate into the meat within five minutes. Pretty cool. Very, very easy to use, and, and it's going into the meat at least a couple of inches. So this roast has been tenderized. I'm ready to go, and it's going to go into the marinade. Okay, for the marinade, we're going to be using quite a few oranges. I like to put the orange zest in as well. If you don't have one of these zesters, you might think about getting one. Uh, works pretty well. Adds a little more flavor. Oranges are going right in with the juice, like so. Zest a little more here. Good enough. Get all these oranges in there. Okay. Nice. Now the pork shoulder, I'm just going to set it right in here. I'm going to put the dry rub on there. Got the Cajun seasonings, some sugar, uh, chopped rosemary, parsley, a few different things. We're going to rub it in good both sides. Get it down in that orange juice. And I'll put a little bit of soy sauce and some beer in here as well. Okay. Second one. Repeat. Rub it in good. Oh yeah, that smells wonderful. It's going to be fired on a very hot grill and then slow cooked. I'll be back. Okay, other ingredients. We got a little soy sauce right here. There's some fermented black beans. It's basically soybean. It's a little stronger. Got a little bit of orange juice here. And uh, of course, can't forget the beer. There you go. It's not my favorite, but I tell you what, you got to have the beer. Okay, beer goes in. This gets covered up, and we're going to marinate this at least for a few hours. Let that marinade penetrate right in there. Okay, I'll be back. Hello, someone recently asked me what's the best meat cleaver. So I'm here to show you uh, what I think is the best meat cleaver. However, there's a ton of them on the market. You can get them all sharp, but not quite like this. First of all, this is a test winner. Notice that the test was in Germany, okay? This knife's handmade in Japan, and it won in Germany. Here you go. This is the RAN, RAN Damascus knives. Uh, I like it. It's Damascus. There's a, a lot of layers there. It's super, super sharp. Look at the, uh, the edge. Look at the pattern on that blade. I really, really like it. Very, very nice. The handle is a uh, layered uh, cloth and resin uh, material. Metal on the end. Uh, it's a full length uh, forged knife. Uh, the bolster goes all the way through. The metal goes all the way through the handle. Hits the rivets there. You're not going to break this knife. This knife is a forever knife. Uh, look at the amazing edge on I there. I like it. This is my choice and my favorite. Uh, 
the balance, the feel, the fit. Wow, this is an amazing knife. Check it out in stock at your sponsor. Uh, package very nice. It's expensive, but hey, you get what you pay for.